Salam Aleikum and welcome to you. Allahu Akbar, Jesus Christ, you're here. We see you're uneasy, well here's what you do. Embrace your inner tan man and can your fears. I have always been drawn to fast-paced sketch comedy probably because I was raised on Sesame Street. And then from Sesame Street, went into SNL or In Living Color. I loved those shows. Uh, I love using humor as a disarming way to get to the heart of something that can often be painful. I have a much harder time not writing humor than writing humor. It just it just comes out naturally. And so I just have to embrace that and, and understand that I am a Muppet and that's just how it's gonna be. Waka waka waka! There's so much to say. We're grammar in your town and we Salamadina Tales of a Afghan is, I call it a bi-ethnic fantasia. I draw from, from pop, from Middle Eastern culture, from I've got country, I've got Broadway. I've thrown together different anecdotes from my life in a very fast-paced vaudevillian way, just about my upbringing uh, with identity. At the airport, love for the TSA. Highly trained defenders of the USA. Step right up as your rights fall away. At the airport, love for the TSA. If you get there super early, everything will be fine. Got my man, got my dog. Yo, let's get through this line. Stepping through the x-ray hay without a blip. Till they look at my ticket and they start to trip. Sorry, man, but you've been randomly selected. It's for the greater good to keep our citizens protected. Just step this way while we pet you down. My dad is from Afghanistan and my mom's Italian. And they both consider themselves white and therefore considered their children white. But when I would be out in the world, I would be receiving different information and people would be disagreeing with that assessment. What I wound up internalizing was that it was good to be white and it was not good to not be white. So I would uh, get really upset if somebody said that I wasn't white. So it wasn't until much later on in my life that, um, that I understood what I had internalized uh, and that there was this, this dissonance inside of me. What better device to talk about the extremes of identity than through song? Um, so I can be on, on one side and talking about what it's like to, to feel, you know, people call you a terrorist. And then on the other side, what it's like to be clinging so hard to, to something that you know deep inside is actually not necessarily reality. I started playing piano when I was four years old. And so music was something that was uh, second nature. It was just like breathing. It was just like eating. I was playing classical music all the way up through college. And that's when I switched to composition because I actually got cut from the piano major, uh, which was devastating because that's how I had defined myself at the time. I said to myself, I'm going to do this composition thing to get my degree, but I didn't understand why anybody would care about what I had to say. So it took many years for me to come to terms with the fact that what I have to say is valuable and can actually be healing to other people. Uh, it took a long time. ultimate objective as a writer is to evoke a sense of empathy with my audience. If I can bring somebody closer to understanding what it's like to live in somebody else's shoes and do that in a way that is uplifting and never talks down to anybody but is always warm and welcoming, that's my way of trying to create a better world.